This tutorial is going to show you how to make a C project using Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. So the first thing you'll want to do is launch the application. You can do that from the start menu or locate the icon in the digital folder. Once you have the application running, select File, New, Project. You'll see a number of options for different styles of projects. Select Win32 console application and enter a project name. Now you'll want to select a location where you're going to store all of your projects. I'm simply going to put this project on the desktop. Select OK. The application wizard window will come up. In the first window just click Next. In the application settings window Make sure that console application is selected as well as empty project. And then click finish. So what that does is it makes a project for us but does not include any source files. So at this point we want to add a source file. So if I go file, new, and file again. And I'm just going to pick a text file because there's not an option for a .c extension. Then I have to go file save as and change it to a .c extension and make sure it's stored in the same location as the hello world project so at this point that still did not add the c file to the project so now what we need to do is go file move hello world into and then select the hello world project on the right. Now you'll notice that we have one source file included in our project. So I'm going to add a few instructions so that this is a useful demonstration. And I'm going to put a dummy variable in here so that I can hold the demonstration on the screen so that we're able to see it before it disappears. Alright, so now we're at the point where we can compile our project. So if you select Debug from the toolbar at the top and Build Solution, or simply press F7, you'll notice that at the bottom of the screen, you'll see some option, or, uh, pardon me, some output that comes up that tells you whether or not your project was successful. In our case, of course, we've done everything right. It says at the bottom, one succeeded. If, for example, you miss a semicolon, and try and recompile, you'll notice it says at the bottom one failed. And then it'll give you an idea of where that error might be. So if you look at the line above, it shows you where this error is. If I double click that line, it will take me to my code where the compiler is suggesting that I look for this error. And usually it's a pretty good indication of where the problems are. So at this point, I have a succeeded build. Now I can try and run my program. So again, if I go to debug on the toolbar and select start debugging, or again, simply press F5, you should see the console window with hello world in it. Thanks for watching this tutorial and good luck with your C projects.